St. Andrews School provides an enriched academic program for 400 students at its upper school campus in southwest Austin. The average class size is 12, and last year, 6% of the seniors were National Merit Scholars. St. Andrews faculty are continuously pursuing better methods to improve learning outcomes. In the fall of 2013, the math department piloted blending learning methods in one of its Algebra II classes in pursuit of that objective. Interest in blended learning has accelerated since last year when Harvard and MIT invested $60 million in edX, committed to understanding how technology can transform learning and the ways teachers teach. Other premier universities, including Rice and the University of Texas, quickly joined, adding to this investment. The pilot was based on edX recommendations. St. Andrews offers 10 math classes from Algebra 1 through Advanced Calculus. Its average math SAT score is 641, and its eight faculty members average 23 years experience. Chris Mabley, with 43 years as a teacher, department chair, head of school, and board member, led the pilot in one of his Algebra II classes. For comparison, he taught his other Algebra II class using traditional pedagogy, which is based on a textbook and interactive lectures. What about number 22, Sophie? What, what would I multiply top and bottom by to get rid of the radicals? Because this time I got two radicals. Um, radical 5 plus radical. Yep. Yep. Worksheets and exercises from the textbook are assigned daily and reviewed the following day. Grades are based primarily on end of chapter tests. Chris teamed up with Mike Dolan to co-teach the pilot class. Mike's experience in education technology and learning transformation complemented Chris's deep experience as an educator. Blended learning software called Alex was chosen for its ability to integrate with our current textbook, deep library of interactive coursework, and robust real-time data. The pilot looked at four blended learning advantages identified by the edX consortium. One, integrating immediate feedback into lessons and coursework. You can see here how the software explains how to do the problem and lets the student know if they answered correctly. The second advantage is providing a personal learning sequence based on each student's current knowledge. Results from an initial assessment test range from the top student already mastering 60 of 70 Chapter 1 topics highlighted in yellow, while others had only mastered 25 of 70. For each student, the learning sequence is presented by the Alex software as a choice of topics they are ready to learn. The third advantage is providing self-paced learning based on each student's mastery of the topics. This chart shows the number of topics out of 30 each student mastered from October 5th when the class started Chapter 5 through the 17th when the students took the test. Note some students were done a week before the test, and three took the test with a few topics left to master. The fourth advantage is the robust real-time data illustrated throughout this presentation. Grades were similar for the blended learning in blue and the traditional class in light gray. The pilot showed another positive learning outcome. Learning efficiency was significantly better for the blended learning class. Two charts illustrate this. Half the students, shown in dark blue, mastered topics up to twice as fast as the slower group over the 12-week trimester. The faster group was able to complete almost all their work in class, averaging just 9 minutes of homework per night. Even the slower group averaged 26 minutes per night. The traditional class requires 30 minutes of homework per night. Student surveys and interviews best illustrate this point. Yeah. But I think I would probably use it again because it, it's just like so efficient and like organized. Mm -hmm. Like especially when Mr. Mabley would print out the um, 
like the topics before the test so we could like know exactly which one we didn't know or knew that yeah one. it was extremely efficient and I know I mentioned it's a huge gift to be able to work at one's own pace mm -hmm. and um, not have to sit through lectures of subjects that you maybe already understand. Right, right. A student survey also supports the conclusion that self-paced learning was more efficient for many gifted and talented learners providing a more engaging experience and precious extra time. Um, I liked that it was work at your own pace. Mm -hmm. Normally in math class, I'm sitting in the back while everybody's getting everything explained twice and I'm just like, I wanna move on now. Yeah. And the good thing about Alex was while there were still kids that they were on topics that I'd already passed, I could either explain it to them or move on and I wouldn't have to be you know, bored in the rest of the classroom. Yeah. And, you know, I really liked the flipped classroom, I guess if that's what they're calling. I don't know, I really enjoyed the Alex software because it was kind of like a computer game almost, mm -hmm. um, a puzzle that I had to figure out. So I would often just continue on to the next chapter when I finished all my uh -huh. assignments. Students using the blended learning software also agreed that having learning modules customized to what they already knew and what they were ready to learn was advantageous. Um, I liked how we were like self-paced and we could do the problems that we wanted whenever we wanted mm -hmm. and I could practice more of one problem or like stop practicing one that I already knew how to do yeah. the topics and it kept track of the topics you were bad at because I mean I could look at a problem and know how to solve it or not know how to solve it but I wouldn't know what it's called but Alex keeps track of what those problems tells are. You. Yeah. you know like if you were coming to someone for tutor and be like I need help with this kind of problem they go which kind and you're like I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Students also agreed that immediate confirmation that they correctly solved the problem or step-by-step -step help when they struggled made learning more engaging. You know, it says that you mastered it. The good thing about Alex was is you could get it wrong, or if you get it wrong four times, even though it makes you redo it, that kind of helps because if, you, if it was just a thing where once you get it right three times and you don't understand it actually, it was just sort of lucky guess, then yeah. it wouldn't have really helped all that much. An right. interesting result in the pilot is that students only watch video lessons for the most complex topics. I yeah. honestly didn't really use the videos because okay. I just felt like the repetition on Alex was more helpful than just kind of like watching. Okay. Yeah, um, videos, they work when you don't really understand the topic all that well. Oh. Over the past four months, uh, Mike Dolan and I have been running an experiment with an uh, Algebra 2 course involving uh, Alex software, which is a blended learning uh, software. Of the four uh, conclusions that we came to, the first involved students and their approach to uh, their own learning. We found that they were more engaged uh, with the a blended learning um, process than they were with a, a typical classroom and, and that they were more efficient in their use of time. Uh, approximately half, it uh, took half the time that it did under normal uh, teaching conditions to learn a particular topic. Um, and the other is that they took more responsibility for their own learning, which um, we found was a real plus. We would move about the classroom, working with individual students on the topic that they were currently working on, which struck uh, both of us as being a more effective way uh, for kids to learn. Which means that they're managing a classroom with kids covering different topics at different times. And this requires a whole new set of skills and a whole new set of planning for the individual teacher. So we think that um, that is probably the greatest uh, handicap for implementing such a learning environment in a classroom. Chris Mabley and I have five recommendations. The first one is to do a full year pilot in Algebra 1, Algebra 2, or Geometry. The second recommendation is to consider uh, including project-based learning. Third, it's really important to have a teacher who's uh, interested and supported in leading this project. We also think the students should have the opportunity to decide whether they want to enroll in this or not. And finally, the software is critical. 
it needs to have great content, it needs to be engaging, and it needs to be flexible and easy for the students to use. With those recommendations, we think that the benefits will be compelling for, student, for gifted students. They're going to learn more efficiently and they're going to have a more enriched and self-directed learning. I mean, it was, I think it's a good program. It was a good experience. Again, a huge gift to be able to work at my own pace. I mean, I felt like it saved me time and I learned more deeply. It was, okay. it was kind of both either way.